He's too cute. Mm. We're going to have to do all the research on how to care and feed chimpanzees. Well, I can tell you so far, I know that he likes uh, dry roasted peanuts and banana daiquiris. <laughs> so, uh, what's his name, Dad? It doesn't matter. There's two Spencers in this house. That's quite enough. The monkey goes. He didn't introduce himself. We have a slight language barrier. He's an African chimp. I met him in the Markham Islands. We know. You were at a hotel under a Dr. Von... Von... Von Schemermann. Von Schemermann. Hi. Boy, you guys do me proud. This guy actually figured that one out. All right, what's the deal? How did you get from there to here with that? Well, the local villagers thought that I was a bona fide medical practitioner and there was a sick child in the village, so they abducted me. And after I cured him... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Dr. Von Schemermann uh, cured somebody? With a breath mint. Oh. Go figure. <laughs> the kid's fever broke, I got the credit, and the tribe gave me some kind of celebratory libation. It's nothing like what Alice pours, but I was hardly in a position to turn it down. Yes, because the only drink that Luke Spencer turns down is on the phone. Anyway, it knocked me on my butt. When I came to, the whole village was in flames and all people were gone. Where to? Well, I don't know. There was nobody to ask. There was just this little guy left, so I grabbed him and split. Oh, right on. Why do I feel like you're leaving out a critical piece of information? Like how you lit the match that burned the village down? I am no arsonist, wife. I think I must have gotten caught up in some kind of tribal ritual. Lucky! Dad's home, and he brought me a chimpanzee! Isn't this fabulous? Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's a chimp. Well, Lulu, you and your chimp can now come live with me at Windermere. I showed up at Windermere and you sent me home. Yes, but I've since realized that it's time for you to live with family. She's with family. Okay, let me rephrase that. It's time for you to live with family who won't abandon you at the drop of a hat. Oh, butt out, Nicholas. Yeah, don't, don't blame Luke. It was my mom who forced him out of town by framing him for her own murder. Oh, stop. He deserved it. Do, do you hear this, Lulu? You, see, your father and, and Tracy had this little dance that they do together without any concern for who gets stuck in the middle, and you just don't need to be subjected to that, okay? Now, I know that you love your father, but he's not going to change. Who asked you? You had your chance to be her father and you blew it. My daughter was in very good hands while I was gone. She was totally safe and taken care of. She was in the capable hands of Skye. Well, actually, Skye was a little preoccupied to concentrate on child care. Doing what? Doing him. Oh, Blaze. It's the thought of you that kept me going through snow and sleet and the dead of night. That's the postman, Dad. Well, I deliver, too. So why don't you tell Tall, Dark, and Gruesome here to take a hike, and you and I will catch up. And, Lorenzo, on your way out, will you take that with you? Fine, but not without my sister. You don't tell Lorenzo when to leave. See, there's been some big changes since you've been gone. Lorenzo and I have decided to... Hey, look, I... A woman of your caliber does not desert her man when he's off fighting for his freedom. I'm sorry, but I'm not your woman and you're not my man and exactly who abandoned who but i did it for us babe come on drop the pretense show me how happy you are to see me no i'm glad you're back luke for lulu's sake but really it makes no difference to me i don't believe you trust me you'll get over me lorenzo mm -hmm. thank you for such a wonderful evening you'll be okay here i'll be fine and um I'd really like to kiss you goodnight right now for no other reason except I'd really like to. Well, I'm more than happy to oblige. Okay, get a room. Sick em, Kong. I'll call you later. I'll be waiting. Good night, primates. Red, where are you going? To bed. To dream. I could use some support here. Yeah, uh, Nicholas wants Lulu to leave this place and go to Windermere. Well, I think that's a great idea. Your latest disappearing act wasn't fair to anyone, Luke. Least of all, Lulu. Well, I... I trusted you to take care of Lulu. I'm not her mother. I'm not even her stepmother. She doesn't listen to me. I don't blame her. You and I had a deal. She's a teenager, Luke. She needs more than deals. Stay out of this. Listen, you left Lulu in this house all this time fighting Tracy. How do you think it felt to be 
To be told you're not wanted, to be told you're a freeloader. No, no, I, I was okay. I was just trying to prove that you were innocent. Now that you're home, everything's going to be fine. Lulu, you can defend him until hell freezes over. He abandoned you, just like he's been doing your whole life. We gave it a try, Lulu. It didn't work. Better off with Nicholas. Okay, what about you, Elizabeth? You said that I should go live with my dad. I think you need a bigger commitment than Luke can give you. Listen, look, Lulu, no one's saying not to love your father, okay? I mean, most kids get, like, a T-shirt when their dad comes home. You get a chimpanzee, and it's actually really cool, but that's not the point. It, it doesn't change the fact that he comes and goes as he pleases with no regard to you. Leslie, Lou, I've got a million things wrong with me, but I'll never lie to you. What do you want? Well, I want my kids, both my kids, to be happy, healthy, and to survive in this miserable world. One down, one to go. Fine. What do you want? I want you to stay. Thank you guys for caring. I, I love you guys too, but I'm staying with my dad. <laughs>